Honestly, never thought this day would come, but it's actually happening. I'm moving into college. All right, so I'm walking over to the dorms now, and I just realized I'm probably gonna feel a lot like a freshman today. So my first year of school was spent at home because of COVID, and then the second year I moved into an apartment, so this whole dorm thing is all gonna be really new to me. But anyway, I'm walking over to the dorms right now. I really don't know what to expect, but I'm just hoping everything goes smoothly. I feel like this room could use a little bit of rearranging. Alright, now I think it's time to start moving stuff in. I just finished cleaning, so now I've got to go back up to the apartment to grab more stuff and bring it back here. I'll probably be doing that like five times a day. Back home again. Okay, so I don't really know how I'm gonna get all of my clothes to the dorm. I think the only way that I'd actually be able to get them there without taking three separate trips is gonna be to take a taxi. Alright, now it's time to put up all my clothes. Okay, so I just got this idea. We have these bins here that they're giving people to unload stuff from the trucks and cars. And so what I'm thinking is, what if I act like I'm going outside to start unloading things with the cart and I just bring it 10 blocks up to my apartment, load everything up there, and then bring it back here. No harm done. I think I'm gonna try it. I've successfully snuck out with the bin over here. Now I just gotta walk 10 blocks up to the apartment. We made it. We just 
just gotta work smarter, not harder. And we're back again. We're getting there slowly but surely. Still got a big mess here. I am going to 100% look like an idiot in the streets, but I am going to take this down and walk about 10 blocks with it. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go. Getting so many funny looks, we're almost there. Alright, so everything in the dorm is starting to come together and now I've got to head back up to the apartment because my dad's coming in so that we can take some of my furniture that I won't be needing in here over to his house in New Jersey. Welcome. To the fans. To the fans. Yeah. Hello, fans. Concrete, darling, so I'm back at the dorm, and earlier today I ran into someone that I met yesterday, and basically he told me that a bunch of people met each other last night and they've made like this huge group chat so he invited me to it and I guess the plan is everyone wants to go to Central Park to see the sunset for the first time so I think I'm gonna be joining them in that so let's go at first when I found out I was gonna have to move into the dorms from my apartment I wasn't very excited about it because for the past year I had this amazing opportunity to live in a studio by myself which was in many ways a transformational experience for me. And when I realized that it was all going to be taken away, I didn't want to accept it. But then I realized the one thing I always felt like I was missing out on by going to a commuter school was the sense of community that you get from living on a traditional college campus. And now. I had the opportunity to experience that. This would open up a whole new world of experiences that I thought I was never going to have. New friends, living with a roommate, meeting more out of state students like me, and most importantly, new stories to tell. So my goal this year is to approach things with an open mind because if I've learned anything this year, it's that putting yourself outside of your comfort zone leads to the most meaningful experiences. And when one door closes, Another always opens. Got lost in the paperwork. It was good friends, but I